Hi, and welcome to another video. In this week, we are going to be looking at the new Voices of Opera Sound Libraries by East West Studios. First, if you'd like to become a subscriber, a supporter, and all-round general good person, then please do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell, so that you don't miss a beat. So this week, East West Studios released their sound libraries called Voices of Opera. Today we're going to have a look at how you can use them in your music making and indeed the costs, the system requirements and most of all how they sound. So let's go and have a look. So here in the main screen we've got an example of Play. Now Play is the, the, the plugin that's used either standalone or with your digital audio workstation to allow these sounds to be loaded into memory so that you can trigger them using a MIDI keyboard or whichever you use to trigger sounds. And as you can see on the left hand side we've got all the sounds that come with the Composer Plus libraries from East West Studios and you can see highlighted here Voices of Opera in blue. Now you'll see from the menu just to the right of that there are seven different subfolders here ranging from sustain, staccato, legato, combinations, words, phrases and key switches. Key switches of course are those that you use to trigger with the keyboard and they change the patch or the sound so you can get a multitude of different sounds within the same environment. So we're going to have a look at some of these sounds now. We're going to have a look at the Voices of Opera Soprano as Ease Oz sounds. You can have different phrases that you can take from Oz and As. You can use the modulation wheel of your keyboard to bring those sounds and make them a bit more joined up. So let's have a little go of the Ah sound. So these are just a nice ah sounds you can have as effects going on in the background of your music and we're going to give an example of this in a moment. You can have combinations of different sounds as well. You can have sustain, staccato, legato and of course other combinations as well which you can control either with the modulation wheel or with your keyboard using your digital audio workstation afterwards with automation. We can of course try a more sustained version of the soprano sound using those. There are a number of words in Italian which are with this pack. There are also male voices as well, so you'll actually be able to hear one of those, and I'll just quickly load those in. So it's quite a nice rich sound, that's the st staccato version, and it's here the legato version. So you can imagine how that could sound in a piece of music that you would write as well. There are a number of different Italian terms, a number of Italian words which are sung by both the voices of opera soprano and tenor. Now 
Now, as you'll see, this is just a browser version, but if you go into the actual player, you can see the different user interface that we'll go into very, very shortly. I'm going to show you the Dolore version with the male voice. So some really, really interesting voice sounds that you can use there. There are full phrases. Obviously, one popular one would be Ave Maria. I could just load that in very quickly, but there are other ones as well. You can see down on the keyboard of the actual play environment, there's a red key to denote the actual key of the original sample. So in theory, you could take in those phrases and record them, chop them up, or do your own arrangements, which would sound quite nice. So if you wanted to do your own arrangement, say, with a rock band of Ave Maria, you could actually have that as a reference point, which would be quite interesting. But also, you've got other keys, so you can, if you didn't like that in the original key, you could load up another key. And it modulates it to close keys around there. I could of course seen this being used in education settings as well, so you've got someone who think, I want to hear that phrase of that particular opera, but I don't want to hear any other instrument. You could probably use this quite well to say, ah, that's what the diction of that word is, or sing-alongs, or you can actually pitch it down, so you can actually help people who are training to become opera singers train to sing those phrases as well. Key switches bring all of these different aspects together in different groups. So if you wanted to try different words in the same setting, like we were talking before, or different phrases in the same setting, rather than having to load multiple instances of the same sample, you can actually have multiple words. So if I was to just load in the words, and you'll be able to see that on the left-hand side there are these blue keys, which I can change with the keyboard. So of course each sound has its own phrase or word, but of course you can change the words, so you can actually make a full sentence of Italian words sung in opera. And we're going to have a go of trying that now. So that was a very quick example of how those vocals could be used. Not only can you do this, but you can go into the actual player and you think, hmm, some of these words I thought mm, were overlapping each other. Now you could obviously edit that in the digital audio workstation. You could quite easily just go in and say, right, I want to just check, were any of these overlapping? Yes, they were. And you can make them so more that they're more natural. Obviously being that they're played in with a keyboard, you can very quickly see, oh, there's a few overlapping sounds here. <laughs> so we'd want the singer to be able to take a breath, because it's very easy to forget that <laughs> performers need to take breaths if you're using wind instruments, brass instruments, and of course voices. Okay, so that was a nice natural phrase. So there might be a nice breath round here as well. I mean, don't forget, opera singers do have fantastic breath control and they can make a note last, they can sing a very long phrase, but it's important to give them a little bit of respect in terms of 
finding that breath. And of course, in working with opera singers, they will work with you to say and suggest as a composer, actually, this phrase works really well here. This one doesn't work as well. This is how we can suggest you can improve it. Let's have a brief look at the user interface with the play plugin. So we start on the left hand side, you've got here the system information, you've got how much CPU usage is going to be, the velocities, that kind of thing, and you can change that sensitivity in here by dragging this sensitivity uh, monitor. Yeah. Below that you've got the performance area, you can have different things like round robin, so you can have where it doesn't repeat, you can actually set that to stop, so it's just one phrase, as opposed to looping over and over again. Portamento, which is a kind of very nice smooth glissando effect, which scoops the note from one to the other. Legato introduces more of a smoothing between the different words. Below that you've got the envelope, in other words how the sound is shaped, you've got the attack, the hold, the decay, the sustain and the release, so if you think there's a word that's a little bit too late lingering, you can actually edit the sound to make that more human, you can make it as human as possible. As we go over to the right hand side we've got our stereo doubling in terms of where the microphones are used. In the version that we've got, you've got quite a few microphone positions that you can use and change. Below here you've got the reverb, some people prefer not to, to have reverb especially for mixing purposes. you've got spaces too it will give you a very nice reverb and of course you can control the size the length and the pre-delay so basically how long it would take before it comes in to how long and how lasting it lasts for and when it ends below here you've got the mix with your microphone positions the front re and the room uh, you can change the pan of that so if you wanted to have your voices more in the left hand side So you can have that and you can change from left to right or keep it fairly central if you want the vocalist to be quite prominent or if you were doing antiphonal work, so in other words, left and right, basically using that stereo image. I've got all three of them selected but you can just have, say, the front one. And you can also have the rear. Which means your microphone source is further away. The general room which is kind of more of a central sound. So that gives you an example of how those sound, but they're on, all three of them are, are on a standard, but if you don't want the opera sound to be quite as high in the mix or quite as prominent in the mix, you can then play around with those at your heart's content. You've got over here the channel source and you've got different sources of tuning. You can change the tuning, so if you think it's a little bit microtonally out with your other instruments that you've been using, either in a live setting or using examples from other instruments that are sampled, then you can change that here. And then down in the main output, you can control the loudness of the output of that particular track. I'm not sponsored by East West Studios in any way, shape or form. It's just I love using them in my music making and I'm doing some really exciting music at the moment as I learn I'm enjoying the learning process so do check those out check out the description below and if you would like to comment below in this video how do you use these sounds are there examples of your music that you've been using these sounds in drop those links to SoundCloud or equivalent below so that we can all have a listen and we can all see how you're using voices of opera in your music making whether it's in a secular setting or a sacred setting, if you've just created a world's first brand new rock opera, or you are creating the next generation of contemporary operas, then drop those links in the description below, and we can all have a listen, and that'd be really nice. So thank you very much for joining me with this first look into the East West Studios Voices of Opera. I've been Ewan Smith, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.